hi what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is pete the tinker welcome to my channel and if you're new consider subscribing if you already subscribed welcome back to my channel give a channel give my video a like uh, give your comment and generally enjoy the video guys today i'm seated here in some kind of a study or studio some kind of a study and uh, i came i've been trying to sketch out um my my next project little project which is about making feeding feeding traps for cows you know i've been trying to establish a cow shed uh, up country somewhere and uh, the cow shed is not complete in terms of the area where the cows will feed from and also drink from so i'm trying to adapt some available materials to kind of fabricate fabricate uh, the feeding troughs so i'm here in this little study and across the other side of the of the study is my is my drawing board so um that's why i've been trying to sketch out the my my cons my idea of the troughs so what i want to do is to utilize some some drums that come with uh is it chemicals or yeah i think some industrial chemicals and once the users of those chemicals have finished with them they dispose of those drums and those drums are up for sale in this city some are white in color some are green in color some are blue i will try and look for the ones that contain some compound which is like a sugar i'm not sure which which sugar it is but it looks like some form of glucose or sucrose i don't know uh, so that we don't end up with drums that have been uh, that have contained poisonous uh, substances so let's go to the studio side and have a look so guys here on the drawing board this is my sketch of what i want uh, here you can see uh, one unit of the drum being uh, shown here and then there will be another unit here and I want to go on like this until I have like five of them here. And the last one will be for drinking from. These ones here are for, uh, for feeding from. This is where I'm going to put the fodder. So at the bottom you can see here I have an idea of a rack. Which is a steel rack. Which will rest horizontally like that. And you can see the remaining part where it will continue like that until it can accommodate five of these drums here so what i will do i will go for a drum which is something like 600 millimeter millimeters in diameter by approximately i think one meter and then in order to have enough depth here from the top here up to the bottom for for holding enough fodder an animal and also to make sure that as the cow feeds it doesn't spill it doesn't keep spilling the fodder i will cut off part of the drum at the, the top part of the drum so that i'm left with something like 400 millimeters in depth here that is from this point up to this point and then i'm going to line up up to six drums like this because i'm planning to have five cows in that cow shed and that way i will have a cow me will feed from here another one from here and then i'll go all the way up to five of them so i haven't shown all of them here but uh, this is my idea uh, so that we can have this these drums secured somehow on onto this so far i've not shown how these drums will be secured. I don't want to puncture these drums so that I bolt them onto that metal rack. Instead, I want to find a way of externally supporting them so that even uh, if an animal 
pushes or pulls here like this it will not this whole system will not be dislodged from its location so right now i want to go and see whether i can purchase these drums guys somewhere here in nairobi i have to go and purchase this uh, a set of these these drums uh for now let's go let's go and purchase the drums guys So guys, I'm here going to buy the the drum, guys. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Headed to the market where where they sell this this uh, these drums. So I'm I'm here alone in the car. I'm leaving, guys. Oh, so. Let's go, let's go and see whether we can we can get the those the drum for making the those uh, feeding trough. The feeding troughs. The one uh, the ones we want I want to buy to have some color code. I want to buy the green one. The green ones for for the fodder and blue for water. The blue one will be for water so i hope i will get the green one green ones are a bit scarce but sometimes you can be lucky and, uh, and you go there and just you just knock it uh, just strike your luck there so i hope i hope they will not have closed by the time i go there but this is a open air i'm targeting to buy from a open air market which is uh, there's no official closing time. <laughs> you can close anytime, anytime the owner wants to close, and there's not just one owner. Thing which is several people, several there are many people selling this thing. So I think even though it's a bit late in the day, it's almost going to. Five o'clock. If you are using twenty-four hour, it is. It's going to. <clears throat> it's going to. Seventeen hours. So I hope I will not encounter when they have already closed, guys. But I don't. I don't expect them to close this early. So let's go. Guys, I'm still on the road headed to to the market where I'm going to buy the drums. Those drums, uh, green and blue. I hope I'll find them. Ah, uh -uh. Sunday. So someone trying to tell to sell me what card for airtime. Airtime for for the. Card guys, and you see the, the vehicles are here. Many, we are in a traffic uh, traffic light. We are here on a traffic light, guys. So we are now free to to move. So we, we go. How many lanes? Three lanes here. And the buses are there in front school bus is there and the public one is somewhere true covenant or something like that i don't know what they have written something so i'm not very far from from the place not far from the market place so i mean slowly very few cars now Over there so, so guys I'm I'm here this is the area where they sell the drums now I have to look for a place where I can park my car but there are a lot of movement of uh, lots of movement of hand hand drawn cars and uh, other things and uh, you can see guys the drums are there 
Many drums are all over. You see? All over, very many drums. Some over there are very far away. So guys, I'm here already at the market. You see the drums are there, many, many drums. Eh? And my friend is here, he's uh, selling me the drum. Eh? My friend is here, he's, uh, he has told me he's going to sell me the blue one. And you, green, you don't have? No, I don't have the green. Green, if they, oh, he doesn't have green, but blue, I think I will buy the blue one. Uh, Wow, that that pass is still here. Buy the blue the blue drum, guys. See, there are many drums all over. The guy is here. There are many drums all over here. There are many. You see the drums, guys. So I want to buy the blue blue. You gonna ring? Come here. So guys, uh, many people coming from up country. They get dropped somewhere here. You see them dropping off their vehicles from the vehicles and with their goods and they buy things here and load and then go but me I'm buying uh, the drum they already have found so guys let me buy the blue one and then uh, we'll see what will happen so let's continue guys thank you guys I already bought the I already bought the you see I already bought the one drum but the green, 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 um, I, don't, I didn't find the green. But I will look for the green and we'll see what will happen. So I'm here heading home, but I've stopped somewhere because it is rainy. It's drizzling. A bit of a drizzle, guys. And, and in the sky, see, guys. <laughs> see what, what do you have there in the sky? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful what? Two rainbows. One, one, and two. Hey, it's a long time since I saw this phenomenon, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Very interesting. You see, in this. How many of them? One, two above. time since I saw such a such a clear rainbow here 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 behind me that one ah very very nice so guys uh, it is starting to drizzle I will be going home and then we shall see what happened to our drums Hi guys, I'm <clears throat> I'm still here at my tinkering shop, tinkering workshop. You see, it has been improved. You can see the paint, the plastering has been done. You see, looking much better my workshop. So today I am working on the green things there. Those green, green, green uh, stuff. Now this, these green drums are. I don't know where they get these drums for after they have been used for delivery of some chemical some maybe some glue or some glucose or some sugar of some kind for industrial purpose then these are disposed of here in the markets of Nairobi and uh, I bought this and what I want to use them for is to make troughs for for feeding cows you see like that has been split into two that one there and this I also want to split and then we shall see what will happen we shall see what uh, this can be used for 
So guys, the, the drums are here. My idea of the trough will look like this. You can see, after we manage to get the blue, blue drum there is going to be for, this is going to be for, for water guys. And the green will be for, for fodder. So you can see, these are the, these are the first two pieces. And the rest are over there. They have also been split, you can see. And they are resting on that. Down there. Here. You have the... You have the troughs. And then the steel rack is there. And we have the rest of the drums over there. The green ones. So we have, uh, we'll have a total of five. One, two, three, and four, and five. And the sixth one will come from this drum here. The rest of those ones which you're seeing at the far end over there, these ones, these are just uh, the off cuts. They are, they are smaller than these because after cutting this drum from this point up to this point, 400 millimeters here 400 millimeters so what is left is something like uh, 200 millimeters because the diameter of the entire thing is is uh, 600 600 millimeters so so today we are going to continue with the work because guys uh, this is another day this is another day. We will continue with the work which we started yesterday after obtaining the drums. And we have split the green ones. The blue one is yet to be split. So that is one project which, one little bit of a project which we are continuing with. And uh, I think I have an idea that I have some little space behind behind these quarters, be behind the, my shop here, somewhere, uh, behind this, this gate here, we have some little space here, over there, where they are, they have, we have some few chicken. You know guys, I had an idea of keeping chicken and the idea was sort of abandoned after it didn't work very well. But this thing is still here. This, uh, this facility is still here guys. See, it has this place here. This, uh, one one space there and then this this uh, canvas for preventing keeping away the cold at night and another one here let me see whether i can open it yeah the door is here you open you see this is also another facility and you can see the rest of them Going further down like that. All the way here we have. This is a single one which is being used right now. By the chicken. The chicken are resting here, are living here. Feeding from those troughs there. And the feeder. And the watering can there. So we don't have a lot of activity here. But I'm planning to, I think I should start something up here, to re revive this place. See? Somebody is keep storing, somebody is storing maize cobs here. <laughs> hey, I think I should leave this open for the chicken too, to celebrate here. Because there's some remnant of the maize here. And then the last one is over there, guys. I think it will be a good idea to 
this revive this project and keep some some chicken even if we can keep like a few like 50 or 100 and see what will happen guys to be interesting so the idea guys is that uh, this space at the back at the front here the, the one at the beginning here you see this this space here which has been left unused that, that space there i'm thinking that uh, i could install some feeding troughs on one side over there and then i keep I make some resting area here so combined we will have a resting area there for small animals and the feeding area and a walking area here in the middle and that way i think i can keep like a two two small cows calves or three or even about four goats here which i i can utilize my feeding troughs i can make similar ones here and uh, install somewhere here instead of having this space sitting idle like this and that way i'll be able to utilize this space guys you see that one was made there for dogs but uh, I don't see much of dogs there anymore on this side that was for chicken I also don't see much of a chicken <laughs> I think I will have to think about that one later but for this one I think this will be interesting to to have some animals here either goats or either goats or cows small ones that is which can relax around here and feed from here that way i can teach myself how to keep to keep cows i because right now i cannot say i have ever kept cows for myself i think i've spent too much time in the city I've spent too much time here in the city. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to keep uh, keep cows, but I think I can learn. I can learn and and see what will happen. I can learn and keep some here as a prototype kind of a pilot project over here. So I think if it happens, we will capture that on another video, and then we shall see what. The progress will look like. Hey, so I'm here. I'm here in. Uh, I'm here in a place called Laiti. The place with a lot of uh, work going on, industry. And my purpose for coming here was to get my bars for supporting the. For supporting the the the, 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 the troughs, the green troughs made from the drums. So I want to use uh, some kind of a pipe bent so that it has the same curvature as the drum. So what you see here, my pipe here is being bent on this this machine here. See this machine? This is a bending machine for pipes. You can roll a pipe from a straight position into a circle into a circle like this guys so mine is this small one here and he's using the cage i wanted to follow that this small pipe here and the machine is this this is a serious engineer he's trying to bring it to that shape you see the drums are rolling here <laughs> now it's becoming a circle. Very interesting. All these are this is a bending station place. Uh, every pipe which is here will undergo some bending at some until the customer is happy. See mine. It's rolling. You see? 
rolling nicely there into a circle. And on reaching the that point, the guy is going to the guy is going to test with the gauge again. You see, he tests it. He tests it here like this. To make sure it is the same, the same radius, the same curvature. And so he's repeating that. You see. Like that, guys. Hey, coming out nice. So I will then go and cut pieces out of this, and they will support my traps on the side. I think I will leave. I will leave him to continue because I have how many pieces? Four. I have four parts. This is uh, one here, and three, three are over there. So I'll leave him to finish. I'll go and uh, pay for this, for the these pipes. I didn't pay. I didn't pay. I'm not paid yet. So I'll go and pay. So guys, we are here at the workshop. We are here at the workshop. They work on the troughs for, you know, for the cow shed. Those feeding troughs. The work is underway, guys. You can see the guy there working very hard. A uh, gentleman called Moses. He's right behind there working on it. So we hope uh, in a short while we shall be in a position to place the traps, these drums that have uh, the off cut and then we'll be able to see how to secure them in place so that when they are in use, when they, you know, when the cow is feeding guys, you know, there's a lot of movement, the animals push, they pull, sometimes you know, they can dislodge the drum from like, its position, so we have to find a way of uh, securing them guys. So you can see the rack there, the rack is down there, you see, that is the brownish uh, frame at the bottom and then the drum will be resting on this, on this, uh, you see on this one, that circular, that, uh, the circular piece of metal at the bottom and these horns, you see the the horn-like pieces of metal here. You see this? This look like the horns of a buffalo. You see the buffalo horns? <laughs> Those buffalo horns will be supporting the drums on the sides, guys. And Moses is there doing some welding. You see? 
the entire frame will look like that. You see? <laughs> and the drums are resting there. Three that, that side, this one on this side. And another one is here. And on this side, the blue one is over there. This. And here, this guy here, the white guy here, and what is this? <laughs> this one we shall look at it in another video guys but for now we continue working on this on this frame guys I think after putting the drum here I think I can get one of these drums and set it here we have a look so guys uh, here after setting this drum here like this you see here yeah. this position will be for the blue drum for, for the water but for the general scheme is the same so these horns will be there like this holding the drum in place like this and then across here across here we shall put something to hold and that way we hope it will be, it will be found you know it will not be Rotate like this. So to avoid that, we are going to brace something here at this. Put a strap there like that. Hope that way it will be very fun. Here. So after we finish this, we shall paint it and then we transport it to the couch. Far away in the village, guys. <laughs> we are walking from the city. And then we shall go to the village. <laughs> Sometimes that's how we have to do things because we have to split the time. So guys, uh, finally, finally the the frame for the traps is ready. It has been completed. It is painted. It, everything is ready, and the traps will sit inside there like this. You see this one here this one here which is uh, inside the, the frame and it is quite secure there so the rest will be sitting here like it uh, lined up inside there they will be lined up inside there like that and then the next thing will be to carry everything to carry everything home and uh, install it in place ready for use so let us see what will happen i don't know when i'm going to carry this but we'll share we'll be able to share this in another video
Stepping shape, guys. This stepping shape. So it is sort of a challenge. Let's try it here. Wow, I still go. So the trough is uh, ready like this. This is the the one for water, and the uh, the rest go down like that. The green ones. These are for fodder, and the one for water is here. So the this is the hole through which the water will come and the valve should be in place see this this valve here we are going to install that valve inside there guys and then this trough basically is ready it's ready for transportation and installation on site guys <laughs> uh, so guys i'll see you when we go to install this, I'm going to show you everything when we are installing and we see how it will perform, guys. And uh, let's give your comments on what this project looks like. <laughs> give your comments so that if there is anything we can change or improve or rectify, we shall appreciate. Don't forget, if you if you like the videos give the video a like and take you see this this is a tinker's hammer guys hit here and over here 
Is it like this? You ring the bell. 